Hi, so this is a continuation of my most recent video this morning because the phone cut me off right before, bye bye. But I forgot something, that there was a point to the story about Walter Matthau that has to do with my left ear. Uh, when I did, when I was, did this play with um, Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon and Maureen Stapleton for three months here in Hollywood, uh, and I wasn't in the play, I was an assistant, and I was with them all the time, and I had meals with them. I mean, it was very intimate. So, um, there were, uh, I, in the evenings before the show went on, uh, I would just hang out in a chorus dressing room, which a lot of minor character actors were in this chorus dressing room. And Walter liked to come in before the show and have one of the understudies put the gray in his hair. Uh, he found it very relaxing and he really liked this actress. And when I say that, Walter Matthau was not a part of the Me Too movement. He was a very happily married man. So when I say how warm and nice and generous, it was like really an upstanding guy. Uh, so he liked this young actress and I would just sit in there and we'd chat and he'd just sit there. And, and after he left one day, I said to her, I think after the play is over, you're gonna get a call from Walter in about two or three weeks and he's gonna help you get your Screen Actors Guild card because she didn't have it. And it happened. He called her uh, within two or three weeks and he got her a part on the Sunshine Boys where she had a couple of lines. It was in a delicatessen and she got her Screen Actors Guild card. But back then, I didn't know I had this ability. It just came through me and I told her and it happened. So that there was a point to that story. So yeah, Walter and I had karma over the years. I ran into him probably three or four times. Um, one day my sister-in-law was visiting me from Chicago <clears throat> and I said, you wanna drive by Walter Matthau's house? Now this now it had been a long time. And we drove by his house, parked the car and pretty house. And uh, who pulls up? but Walter, and he parks on the uh, street and he gets out of the car and he's in shorts and a t-shirt and his sheepdog got out of the car. He always had a giant sheepdog and you can see him walking through the Palisades with his dog all the time. But he walked over to the car because he recognized me and he bends way down and he goes, hi, how are you? And I said, hi, Walter, um, I wanted to show my sister-in-law your house and he, and he reaches in, nice to meet you. And, that, and she's like, can't believe it. And he said, yeah, we bought the house next door and I created a, you know, a walkway. And he said, and we bought the house next door because my wife needed more bathroom space. So there's a little fun story, but it does connect to my left ear. Now we go into bye-bye because my phone did something weird and it just cut me off. So now here's the official bye-bye. Bye-bye.